Hello, my name is Anthony McCarthy. Today we're going to be cooking roast chicken breasts with olives and a funny jus. One of the reasons I love cooking with Canadian farm-raised chicken is because they're grain-fed, meaning that over 85% of their diet comes from grains such as wheat and corn. The remaining part of their diet comes from oil seeds like soybean and canola meal, as well as vitamins and minerals. They also have access to clean water 24 hours a day. Let's hear from a Saskatchewan chicken farmer what he feeds his chickens. Hi, I'm Tyler Keat, a Canadian chicken farmer from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. A question I often get asked is what do chickens eat and drink? First off, what they drink is simply just water. We have a well on our farm which provides our chickens with safe, clean drinking water. We have this well periodically tested to ensure this. In fact, this is also the same water that comes from the taps in our house on the farm. Secondly, what do chickens eat? We feed our chickens various grains and oil seeds. The most common ones that we use are wheat, corn, canola, and soybeans. With the help of a nutritionist, we'll come up with a blend of these different ingredients so we can provide the chickens with a healthy, balanced diet. This also helps ensure that the chickens are properly utilizing their feed and not letting it go to waste. Then, right here at our feed mill, we'll blend these ingredients together along with some other vitamins and minerals to help ensure their health where it can then be delivered out to the farm and fed to the chickens in the barn. Once in the barn, the chickens have access to this feed and water at all hours of the day so they can get up and eat and drink whenever they please. Welcome back. Time to make roasted chicken breasts. Before we get started on the recipe, uh, let's be sure we've got nice clean hands, clean equipment, uh, and the chickens come straight from the cooler. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a bowl, mix together cumin, salt, paprika, turmeric, set that bowl aside. You can do whatever you like with this recipe. I've chosen today to add some zucchini and peppers, make it a more complete meal when I roast them. Add canola oil into the veggies, salt and pepper. Add the onion slices, zucchini and peppers to cover the bottom of that roasting pan and top it with chicken breasts. Sprinkle the chicken breasts with a spice mixture, flip them over and sprinkle on the other side too. Then drizzle with honey. Bake it for 20 to 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then turn the chicken breasts over, baste them with the honey jus and add the olives. Place it back in the oven and continue cooking until the chicken is tender, which takes about another 15 to 20 minutes, or until a meat thermometer inserted into each piece reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Baste a few more times while finishing baking. Some guests ask about how the chicken we serve was raised. They often ask about the difference between free range and free run chickens. All chickens raised here in Saskatchewan, in fact, all chicken in Canada are raised in barns where they roam free and are not kept in cages, and therefore are free run. Chickens are raised in barns to protect them from the weather, predators, and disease. Free range chickens have access to the outdoors. While the chicken is cooking, let's prepare the whole grain couscous pilaf. Place the couscous in a bowl with a cumin, dried currants, grated carrot, and a small knob of butter. Pour over the boiling water, cover the bowl with a plate and allow it to stand for 10 minutes. Fluff with a fork and stir in the parsley and lemon juice. Take the chicken breasts out of the oven and use the meat thermometer to ensure the chicken is fully cooked. What I've chosen to do today is a couple of my favorite ingredients. Great Saskatchewan lentils uh, with chickpeas. We're going to mix those together and serve those on the side of this delicious chicken dish. Now we're going to plate and taste. I hope everyone has fun trying this recipe and that you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching.